Welcome to this video number four of Big Data and Hadoop to do it yourself tutorials. Up until now, I assume you know the basics and ecosystem of Big Data and Hadoop architecture. You also have downloaded the virtual machine for Cloudera. If not, go to video number one, two, and three and watch it. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get into Hadoop file system, create databases, create tables. We are going to look at internal, external tables. We are going to look at how to write basic hive statements. And in the, in the versions or the videos future, in future, we are going to talk about how to do some file transfers and, you know, making tables on the files and stuff like that. So let's get started. I would like you to go to Google and download a it's P U T T Y and you already have the IP address from Cloudera. If not, you can watch the earlier videos to get the IP address. Let the port be 22 and SSH. Click on open and you can type user root. Be, be very careful is the root user for the virtual machine and password is Cloudera. Now, I would strongly recommend that you play around with the party and you can just minimize the VM. You don't have to really worry about VM. Now, I assume that most of you know Unix, Linux basic commands i'm not expecting you all to be mastered in that the basic commands so i'm going to walk you through some basic unix commands and we go from there so the first one is pwd which is present working directory and you can see its root the cd would take me to the previous directory or the, the directory one level up it's change directory command ls it's ls is the listing of all the directories and the files present in the particular location path. Cat command is to look at a file. Mkdir is make directory and rmdir is remove directory not like that sorry rmdir is remove directory uh, i think that's pretty much it uh, you you don't need any high specialized skills in linux linux to to be able to navigate around here all right so let's go to the hue interface as hadoop interface and you know to so it's the same IP and 88 port number on the far right there is a file browser I just wanted to take to bring into your attention the path here it's slash user and cloud era and I would go here and I would like to find out this slash user. You see a user directory. Let me change the settings here real quick. So I just changed the color scheme of Putty. So if you look at this, there's no directory as USER, it says USR. This is very important to note. So if I just do LS, L, USR, it's gonna list some directory structure, which is not same, obviously because these two directories are not the, the same directories. So where is this user directory? This user directory actually lies inside the Hadoop system. 
the Hadoop structure. So in order to get to this directory, you have to write Hadoop FS file system. And then you have to say, you have to say minus and a hyphen plus Okay, sorry, you have to say minus ls user and then you would see all the directories. See, Cloudera, HDFS, History, Hive, Hugo Jenkins, Uzi, Root, and Spark. So, in order to access, access the directory structure from the inside the Hadoop system, you would have to use this command Hadoop fs minus ls user so exercise number one hands-on exercise number one is create a directory inside the hadoop user interface like hadoop file system so i'm going to type hadoop fs hyphen mkdir and I'm going to type underneath user, I'm going to type VDCS as the directory. And you can see, go here, let's refresh. And you can see VDCS directory and the root the user which created this directory obviously it's going to be empty now i am going to upload a file in this bdcs folder in order to create tables but that's for later from your system perspective you can actually create a folder with any name with your name with test dev whatever name you wish like you can create this file structure next i'm going to go into hive command line utilities so in order to get the command line utilities you would just type hive on the putty platform putty screen and you can see that the hive window is initiated let me just clear the screen so that you can see it so you can see it's a hive command shell in order to get that i just typed hive Here, you can type in show databases. This is the command to give you the list of databases you have. So you can say default, Narayash, sample. The same databases you can see in the hive in this sample, you would see default, Narayash, and sample. See, all matching. Default, rash, sample. Next, you can create your own database. And this is the schema. This is, if you know Oracle, you can relate it to schema in which you can create tables and stuff like that. So let's create a database here. Create BDCS. Sorry, create database. Let me clear it out. That was my bad. See, create database BDCS. And go here, refresh. You would see BDCS appearing here. If you want to use 
or if you want to work on this BDCS, you have to use a command use BDCS. Now this is going to be the database you are being worked on. So any table, anything what you would create from now onwards would be created under BDCS schema. All right, so time for some hands-on exercises. The first hands-on would be to be able to log in and write some commands as we did earlier. The second would be create a database on your name so that we can work all the exercises in there or you can use BDCS as well. And be able to navigate Hive in conjunction with the command line utility. In the next few videos, I'm gonna focus on Hive from the user interface as well as from the body. And I will show you how simple, easy it is to, to do it. Thank you for watching.